Welcome! In this video, we are going to cover some of the basic post-processing commands. The goal of this demonstration will be to give exposure to using post-processing commands as well as the process on how to do so within VDM. To get started, go into the scheduler and click Job. Once on the Job Setup page, open the job you want to add the post-processing commands to and then edit the job. Since I already have everything set up for this job, I'm going to go straight to the post processing page and enable command post processing. Next, we need to enter some commands. I'm going to use two copy commands with one minor change for the second. The first command will copy the PDF file for the details to a folder on my desktop with a new name of new detail export. To select the file that I want, I'm going to right click and select details, PDF, full name. I will then need to specify the path the file is being copied to. It is worth noting that at the end of the command, I changed the name of the file being copied. If you want the file to keep the original name, leave the name blank. To separate the first command from the second, I need to use an ampersand. The second command will copy the same exact file to another folder on my desktop, except this time the folder has a space in the name. The commands used in this video will be included in the links below for easier reference. If a file or directory path has a space in the name, the entire name of the file or directory path needs to be inside double quotes. Once I am finished with the commands, I need to click finish and save the job. At this point, the job can be ran through master job or using the scheduler to schedule a job. I'm going to use master job since I don't really have a time frame to schedule the job. Once the job is ran, I should see my original file called Detail Export and the two files that were copied in the folders on my desktop. For additional help with post-processing commands or other sections of EDM, check out the links in the description. Our post-processing article will provide much more in-depth examples on commands you can use as well. 